Hi, this is Diane from Orchid Island Soap, and I'm using my batter that I made with the room temperature method to make my black and white soap today. And we're going to bring this up to a little thicker trace. And because I made this with the room temperature method, it is cooler than you would normally soap. So it does give you a little bit more time to do things that you would like to do with your soap before it thickens up too much on you. Okay, I think I'm going to stop now and put a little bit of soap in my cup for my black. I'm not going to put too much black in it. Mix this up good. Oh, that looks pretty black. I think that'll work out fine. And now I'm going to put my white in my main batter. That looks pretty good. And my fragrance. And this is essential oil blend with lavender in it. And as far as I know, nothing is going to affect the trace. So, I think I'll give it a good whisk to make sure it blends in completely. Okay, it looks like we're going to need to stick blend this a little bit more. It's not quite as thick as what I would like for it to be. Okay, as you can see, it does give you quite a bit of time. So if I was doing a more complicated soap recipe today, I would have the time to do it. I'm going to pour about half the mold. And then we'll do a little bit of black. I don't want to put too much black in here. used almost all my soap. I kind of wanted to do a fluffier top, but I don't think I have enough soap to do that today. So, we will do something else. So it looks like that's going to have to do it for today. Okay.
Okay, that's it. I will post a video when I cut this, unmold it, and cut it for you so you can see what it looks like. Hi, this is Diane from Orchid Island Soap, and I'm ready to cut my black and white soap for you. First, we're going to unmold it from my homemade wooden mold. And I'm going to pull up on the sides here and see if it'll come out of the box. Yep, it's coming right out. Okay, we'll take the paper off. And I'm going to cut it on my, it's actually a cheese cutter that I got from Walmart for, oh, it was about $16. So I thought I'd start with this. And it does a really good job. I put these little stops on either side so that I can get perfect size bars each time. So I'm going to cut off the end piece. This is always the most fun of soaping. There we go. It's not bad, the white's nice and poppy. That didn't get too much black. Maybe a little dramatic. Nice separation between the black and white, so I like that. Oh, that's a nice piece. This is Diane from Orchid Island Soap, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel and watch for my next video. Thank you.